Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to show you how to do this really warm and nice smoky eye with a pop of rose gold and coppers in the center of the lid. So if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Hold on. Are those my brows? Okay, kidding aside, I'm sure by the title of this video, you know what video this is all about. So I'm going to show you how I do my brows. As you can see, my face doesn't look complete because my brows just don't match my look. And a lot of you asked me how I do them, so let's get started. So what you're going to need is your brow product, a stiff angled brush, a spoolie, and an eyebrow mascara. So before anything else, I like to brush my hairs in place just to clean it up a little bit so they're not going like in different directions. And then taking my angled brush, I'm going to use the wax side first and I usually start at the tail first. So I just do like small strokes like that. And then I drag the line out a little bit. And then I just try to follow the natural shape of my brows. And then I work my way forward without adding any product. Because you want the front to look kind of um, lighter. And then over here, I just like to brush it upwards. And to set that in place, we're going to use the powder side of the brow product now. Using the same brush, we're just going over everything, starting at the tail again. I know that part is a little thick, so I'm going to show you how I fix that. Because you want the tails to look really nice and clean and sharp. I don't know about you, but that's how I like my brows. You can also use like just regular eyeshadow for this part as long as it kind of matches your your hair. And then I like this brush because it kind of matches like the height of my brows perfectly. So I like to do this in the front. It gives the front a little more structure. But I don't like super cornery eyebrows. So I'm gonna take my spoolie and I'm just gonna kind of blend it into it just blend everything together so it's not too harsh. Okay now we're gonna clean up that edge so I'm just gonna take a regular q-tip and you just want to just clean it up like that and do the same like on the outside parts. And then just go over the areas that look a little bald. Like you see right here. It's gonna get more powder. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more product. So it's nice and fleeky. Now you see how the brows make a big difference to the whole makeup look. So yeah. Do not neglect your brows ladies. On fleek. Meh. On fleek. Meh. Okay now I'm just gonna do the other side now. And that's okay if they don't look super the same because they're not meant to look the same. If they were super symmetrical, your face is going to look weird. Okay, now that's looking a little better. We can now set our brow hairs in place. So using my favorite one from L'Oreal, this is the Brow Stylist Plumper. We are just going to brush those over. So I brush my hairs in the front upward. And then you just follow how your natural hairs grow. Like follow the direction. Do this with a light hand. You don't want to smudge off all the product we laid down earlier. Just make sure you're just brushing the hair, it's not your skin. Alright, there we go. Now for that extra oomph. This is really um, optional. You can make that even more prominent by highlighting underneath your brow. 
you're just gonna want to take like a really light eyeshadow so for that I'm gonna be using like this white color right here and using just a nice flat brush I'm gonna clean up underneath the brow And now my makeup is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope that you learned a few things and please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye! Okay, and then I got Tool, and this is uh, my first dark lipstick ever, and the more...